We've got something really special today. A first look at the Osaka Ido MK1s. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sports Republic Reviews, where we give you all the information you need to buy the right product, first time. We got something really special today. The Osaka Hockey Ido MK1 Hockey Shoes have just arrived in South Africa, and we're the first people to have a look. We're gonna do a little unboxing video with you. Starting off with a box made out of recycled materials. Clearly showing Osaka trying to do their bit to save the environment. So as we open it up, we've got some images that Osaka have used in the planning of the shoe. Engineered for athletes, designed by experts. So let's have a look at the shoe in more detail. All right, so let's get into this review. First thing you're gonna notice these are incredibly light. These are by far the lightest hockey shoes we've ever seen on the market. I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. The first thing you're gonna notice is that if you look down into the shoe, you're gonna notice that it's a lot rounder than you're traditionally used to seeing in the other shoes. When they were designing the shoe, the mold that they built it on has got a rounded bottom it very much mimics a foot and traditionally shoes are built on flat molds so rather than your foot just sitting on top of the sole when you put the shoe on you'll notice that when you put on an Ido MK1 that your foot sits in the shoe and it really hugs it and you'll feel that the sole is rounded and the sides of the shoe are really snug and it's very comfortable on the foot so apart from the great comfort that you're gonna get from this rounded sole you also see that there's a, a built-in sling system. And what the sling system does is it stops the foot from moving over the sole when changing directions. You must have seen many different images of players changing directions and it looks like their foot's trying to escape from their shoe because of all that force going through the, the sole and the side of the shoe. This sling system, one on the inside and one on the outside, is designed to keep the foot stable and to make sure that there's none of that lateral movement over the midsole. Another thing you'll notice is this different material that we're seeing on these Edo MK1s. This is engineered mesh. It's super durable and incredibly light, which speaks to the overall weight of the shoe. And another property that these have is that they're not gonna absorb water. So you'll often find on really wet days in the rain or if the pitch has really been flooded that shoes tend to absorb a lot of the water making them heavy and when you get to the end of of your game and you take your shoe off you can generally pour out some of the water because these shoes have been, been designed with materials that are not absorbent you're not going to have that issue where the shoe is picking up a lot of extra weight as you're playing on the field another aspect we can look at is this toe box protection obviously the foot is going to be in the way a lot and you're going to you are prone to getting quite a lot of ball strikes and this little bit of extra protection here is there to is designed to dissipate some of the force when you are getting hit on the foot just making sure that we don't suffer those needless little injuries of broken toes here and there this toe box protection will definitely help and give you that little bit of peace of mind when going in and and, and these balls are traveling in and around your feet if we look at the business end of the shoe, this is where a lot of the technology is actually coming through. So first up, you'll notice what we call a decoupled midsole. You'll notice there's these lines that break up the midsole. And what that does is it allows each little segment of the sole to operate independently of, its, of the, other, the other part of the sole. The foot is very complex and because the foot moves so much, you need a sole that gives you the flexibility to flex around your foot and to make sure that 
the cleats are in contact with the ground as soon as your foot moves and that's really important to make sure that you that, that you are as efficient as possible when you're accelerating when you're changing direction and when you're stopping it this allows your foot to be in contact with the ground as much as possible another thing we can look at is the O spot this sits just below your cuboid bone and that's the junction of all the bones in your foot and this O spot allows all the other decoupled midsoles to operate independently around this cuboid bone so as the foot is flexing and moving in all different directions this O spot allows all of the movement that the foot needs while still providing the support for that cuboid bone and for that junction of all the bones another obvious thing that we've got to look at is the grip that these shoes provide so this is a multi-directional cleat system obviously when we're playing there's so many different dimensions and, and, and different movements in the game you're accelerating you're stopping you're changing direction obviously when we're performing some specialist skills like drag flicking the shoes go under quite a lot of strain and these cleats are all designed in different directions to make sure that every movement has got sufficient force and, and sufficient grip to make sure that that action happens properly so this directional system is going to make sure with the use of the decoupled sole it's going to make sure that you're getting as much traction and as much foot flex as possible so that you're able to perform and execute these moves as efficiently as possible so the next thing we're going to look at is the stack height traditionally shoes have a stack height of 10 mils and that's the difference between the height of the sole in the heel and the height of the sole in the front where your toes are so traditionally that is 30 millimeters and 20 millimeters giving you a stack height of 10 mils what these Osaka Edo MK1s allow for is a stack height of 8 millimeters and that just gets the foot closer to the ground to make sure that you're able to take advantage of all this grip and this decoupled midsole and the closer you are to the ground the more agile and the quicker you're able to become so that's our first look and first impression on these Osaka Ido MK1s if you've got any questions please pop them in the comments below we'd really appreciate a like and make sure that you subscribe to never miss any of our reviews